Hi guys, this is Hannah from Kane Themes. I'm going to briefly go over a couple things you can do using Page Builder. I'm working from Virtue Premium, but Page Builder settings are pretty much the same all around. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new page. And I'll just label this Page Builder. And the first thing you want to do is set your template. And we'll make this full width. And save. Then we'll open the Page Builder tab. Here you can add a widget, you can add a row, you have pre-built layouts here, you have your history, so if you make a mistake, you don't like something, you can go back to what you had previously saved, and then you have your live editor. So while you're working on your page, you can kind of see what's going on. So right now we just have a page builder title. Alright, so we'll go ahead and add a row. You can set the number of columns here. Here you can set the ratio. You can give it halves. You can give it thirds, you can set it left to right or right to left, or you can manually adjust. So we'll just move it slightly to the right, insert, and highlight this left column, add widget, and you can search for widgets here. And I'm going to use the visual editor. Now this widget pulls from the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget plugin. And this is one of our theme recommended plugins. It allows you to have all your visual editor settings within a widget. So edit that. We just paste in some content and give it a block quote because we can. We're done. Highlight this right column. Add widget. And let's use the virtual image menu item. Edit. And we'll upload an image. And give it some content. And done. And then we can go ahead and check out what's going on. So here's your page so far. Not bad. Go back, let's add another row. And we'll make this one column. Insert. And with this arrow here, you can choose you can move your call or your row up or down. We'll just keep it below and highlight it. Add a widget. And let's use the call to action. Edit. Give it a title. And all the content, if you don't set it, then it'll just pull from default settings. So I'm just going to let it do that. And here you'd enter a link. Done. And then you can uh, hover over this toolbar and select Edit Row. And you can open the Design tab and select a background image. And this will be the background image for the entire row. Or you can use background color. You can set the style, use parallax, and position. You open the Layout tab. We'll give our image some padding, and we'll set the row layout to full width, and save. So we'll go ahead and save this, and preview the page, and there you go. Not bad. And this is just a start of what you can do with Page Builder. There really is endless options. So we hope this helped, and thanks for watching.